Former Boston Red Sox closer Brandon Walkman, he signs a one-year $3 million deal with the Chicago Cubs, and it's a pretty good landing spot for Walkman. I'm surprised he didn't get a multi-year deal this season in free agency. I know last year wasn't a great year for him with almost a 6 ERA, but the 33-year-old now, he signs with Chicago. He gets a one-year deal, and I don't think he'll be competing really for the closer's role this season unless Craig Kimbrell goes down. Or a trade, he gets traded. But Walkman, he'll probably be the 8th inning man or 7th inning man here for the Chicago Cubs. And it's a good move for them. They get a decent reliever over the past few seasons where he could pitch some innings. He has back end the bullpen experience. And Walkman, last few seasons, he's been okay. In 2018, 6-1 with a 3.21 ERA. 43 games, 41 innings, 37 strikeouts. And a 1.21 on whip 2019 for Walkman. And a whopping 10 and 1 with a 1.88 whip, 16 saves, 71 and two thirds of an inning, 104 strikeouts, and 1.033 whips. A 2019 a magical season it was for him. And he was one of the best relievers in baseball that year. And especially the second half of the season when he took over as the closer. He really was great for fantasy baseball. And the Red Sox. And then last season between Boston and Philly, the numbers weren't great for Walkman. 1-4 with a 5.95 ERA. He still had 9 saves, 19 innings pitched for Walkman. 23 strikeouts and a 2.237 whip. So the numbers weren't great last season. And I think 2020 for a lot of players, it wasn't normal. The start of spring training and then the stopping for a few months and then starting the regular season on a short spring training definitely hurt the pitchers, in my opinion. More of the hitters had the advantage, I would say. And Walkman, I think he could bounce back and have a decent season this year. And the projections for him this season are 5-4 and four with a 3.81 ERA, 8 saves, 59 innings they're giving him, 67 strikeouts. And a 1.356 whip. So I think these numbers are pretty accurate for Walkman. He's not going to be the closer like I mentioned for the Cubs. Unless Kimbrell gets traded or gets hurt in the season. And fantasy owners, they shouldn't draft Walkman. But he's a guy definitely to keep an eye on. With the stuff I just mentioned about Craig Kimbrell. And the Cubs probably rebuilding and being out of it early in the season. Well, I could see Kimbrell getting traded and Walkman taking over as the closer. But it's a good move for Chicago. So Brandon Walkman, we'll see what he could do for the Cubs here.